Hi friends, and welcome to another journal with me. This time we're prepping for June of 2022 in my reading and life travelers notebooks. So I'm actually pre-filming this way in advance of actually needing to set up for June. And I'll have to do the same for July because I am moving at the end of May and because of how our move is set up I'm not sure that I'll be able to have all of my stationery and a filming setup ready by the time June rolls around and likely also not by the time July rolls around so you're getting a bunch of pre-filmed content from me um, as far as my YouTube channel goes because I just currently do not have the time to plan um, because I've got to move across the ocean. Um, so I won't go over too much of what I'm doing since uh, this is going to be really similar to my last setup video, but just really quick, I am uh, putting down my checkboxes. I fail with that first one, second one's kind of wonky, third one is okay. Um, it's, it's hit or miss every time with this. And if you did not watch my last video, you uh, do not know that I like to choose a color as a theme for the month. Um, and so for the month of June, for my reading journal, I chose the color purple, but after looking in my collection for a little bit, I discovered that I don't really have a lot of purple stickers. I mean, there are stickers with purple in them, but not like purely purple stickers or purple theme stickers. So I instead will be using this sticker sheet that I got from the artist Thanks Shu. Um, and unfortunately, I mean, I love the sticker sheet a lot. Uh, I think I just tricked myself, I guess, because the background for the sticker sheet is purple so I was like okay it's a purple theme but if you look at the stickers individually especially outside of the sticker sheet they're not really purple so uh, unfortunately the theme kind of fails there but it does stay cohesive in that I continue to use the same sticker sheet throughout the spread and I think it's like the only sticker sheet I use. I think the illustrations are adorable thanks to is definitely one of my favorite artists out there uh, but uh, it's definitely less color focused compared to the other months that I've done these color themed reading spreads. So um, a little different, changing things up. I just thought I'd hop on voiceover and let you guys know that this intended once upon a time to be a purely purple spread, but then it turned kind of, you know, warm spring colors as well. So now I'm in the back of that insert doing my little wrap-up page with the black and white theme from May. Uh, the theme for this journal with me video is that everything is crooked. Um, if you didn't see, one sticker that I put down already in the previous spread was crooked and now I'm putting on this outline of a dude and he's crooked and I will do that a bunch more throughout this video so I apologize in advance to those of you who uh, do not like the crookedness um, it wasn't intentional I don't know what was up with me today but I just was crooked and all over the place
on to my life journal. We are setting up the monthly memory keeping spread. The theme I set for this spread is just blue. Again, trying to empty out my sticker collection, so after putting down some washi tape, I just slapped down a whole bunch of stickers from my collection with blue in them. setting up my gratitude list for June, sticking with the same color theme as the monthly log, so using a blue Sailor Shikiyori brush pen to hand letter the word June, adding the word gratitude, adding some washi tape and stickers, and then writing down uh, 30 days for 30 lines of gratitude for each day of the month. pseudo bullet journal so again I do sort of weekly not daily bullet journal lists um, and I indicate the list by highlighting the week on a little calendar that I stamp at the top of the page um, really been liking the system still and I think it'll be really nice uh, for the weeks coming up ahead I will be doing some traveling so I'm not sure if I will be taking this with me or if uh, it's going to stay behind while I run around the state of California, um, but in case I do, I have the spread set up in advance. Yay! Um, and the theme that I go with for the bullet journal spreads, uh, it's a very gentle use of the word theme, but the color theme is green, like from blue to green.
So that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I never do this, but I will now ask you, if you've made it this far, to like and subscribe. Stick around. Lots more stationary and journaling videos coming up. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!